How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Today, um, I'm doing a video that I was very reluctant to do. I, I didn't really want to make it because I didn't want any hate from my channel going over to hers. Not saying you guys are hateful, pretty much 98% of you are really kind, and when you go to another video, you don't bother other people. But there are, you know, that 2 or 3% that slip through and are just fucking mean for no apparent reason. You guys have literally been screaming at me to watch videos and basically asking if there's anything I can do to help um, a certain YouTuber by the name of Eugenia Cooney. Now, you guys, if you've been on YouTube this past week, you know who she is. You've seen people like Philip DeFranco, Leafy, uh, God, uh, the list goes on. Of how many YouTubers have watched a video. So basically, let's watch a video of hers. Um, and get to know her a little bit. Because I've actually never watched her videos before. I've only seen the stories on her recently. So let's watch a video. And then I will give you my thoughts. The thoughts that you really want to hear on this for some reason. <laughs> okay, let's watch. Hey guys, it's Eugenia. So today I'm going to be doing a Halloween video. Since it's almost Halloween. So I thought today I would do a like Harley Quinn kind of costume video. So, yeah, this is my Harley Quinn costume that I'm wearing right now. I actually got- I just want to say that I went to MCM Comic Con in London about a week ago. About a week ago! God, I miss Vine. <laughs> and there are about 20.1 billion Harley Quinns. I, it's almost like every girl went to Comic Con going, oh my god, I'm gonna be Harley Quinn. I'm gonna have like the uh, purple and pink pigtails. I am gonna be so original. Everyone's gonna be looking at me. And then they got there, and then the parking lot was just full of Harley Quinns. Everywhere you went, there was a fucking Harley Quinn. Also, it's important to note that Comic Con is the only place I think you're allowed to walk around in central London carrying a baseball bat. <laughs> Legally! <laughs> Jacket and it's really cool because it's pretty much just like the one in the movie. It is red and then it's blue on the other side and then it has the. I gotta say that is actually a cool jacket. Like I I like um what's his name Soldier seventy six from Overwatch. He's like my favorite character and the leather jacket. You can actually buy the leather jacket of Soldier seventy six. I think I've got the figurine here. This is it's not in color but this in the leather version of it. Oh my god, I I really want it. <laughs> I just don't know if I can pull it off. <laughs> Okay, okay, so this is basically just a uh, Harley Quinn Halloween costume and makeup tutorial. It says it there in the description. Um, judging by her channel, uh, she looks like a vlogger. Let's, uh, let's watch another video of hers. Uh, she seems to dress up in a lot of outfits. Hey guys, it's Eugenia. So today I'm going to be doing an outfit haul of a bunch of outfits that I got from a really cool site. I need to get this because it's actually a Pikachu hoodie and I love Pikachu. What? Pikachu so much. He's like my favorite Pokemon ever because he's so cute. So it's a yellow Pokemon hoodie. Please let the hood have the ears. Please let the hood have the ears. And it says Pokemon right there. And then on the back, it's got like- Oh my god, it's got the fucking ears! I want it. I want it. I don't, I don't even know why, but I fucking want it. I can walk around as Pikachu. And it'd be normal. Where'd you get this? I want this! The next thing is this shirt right here. And it's just like a really cool- black shirt, so that's this shirt. <laughs> and it's really cool, because it's black, which is like my favorite color. This is just like a really short black shirt. Well, I definitely don't think I could pull that look off. <laughs> I could try, but you know, the bra would need to be quite big. <laughs> them and stuff, so it's a really cool design. So this is a blue, kind of like anime schoolgirl kind of outfit. I think these are so cute and so- What is it with a uh, separate, separate discussion? <laughs> is it with the Japanese and sexy schoolgirl costumes? Has anyone ever sat down and thought to themselves, that's kind of gross? <laughs> really? Come on now. I mean, the maid fetish is a little bit bizarre, but you can understand that they want to respect and support maids. They work hard. But this whole sexy schoolgirl thing, does anyone actually know that schoolgirls are illegal to have sex with? And just outright wrong? Why is there an entire culture around sexy schoolgirls? Why? <laughs> the people who actually really take the sexy schoolgirl culture too far are actually in prison. <laughs> so, stop 
stop it with the sexy schoolgirl outfits. I don't want to picture a schoolgirl sexy. Ugh. Oh, stop. This is the dress. It's a yellow dress. And yeah. yeah. And I just think it's really cute. Okay. That sweetie with the Pikachu hoodie. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're, we're talking yellow. <laughs> I should so be a fashion designer. I'd nail that shit. The back of it and stuff. So yeah. All there. And then on the bottom of it, it just has all this white fringe. Okay. All right. So she's uh, she's clearly a vlogger uh, and fashion channel. She does makeup tutorials. Um, and on the whole, she seems like a really, really sweet girl. Um, personally, I, I think I I'd get on with someone like her. She seems really lovely. She's almost at a million subscribers. So congrats, by the way, on that. So now... Now, the the real question here that you have been asking me, Daz, can you help her? And two, what do you think of her weight problems? First of all, I don't know her at all. Never spoken to her. This is actually the first time I've ever watched her videos, and I've only really found out about her, unfortunately, because of all the news stories uh, on YouTube. So, I don't think I can help her, and I don't think she'd want me Messaging her out of the blue, offering help when she probably is either getting it herself or it's just, you know, I'd be out, out of place, you know? Second of all, what do I think? First of all, uh, it's none of my business, really, to be honest. It's none of my business. Why should I sit here with 1.3 million followers? We hit 1.3 million followers, by the way. Dazzling. Why should I use that? To give, to basically just what a lot of you seem to want me to do, to insult a young girl. I'm not doing that. What do I think? Yes, it is very obvious that she is suffering with a weight uh, issue. Anorexia, uh, I don't know. I don't know her story and I'm not judging her. I think she's wonderful from what I've seen. I have heard in the news that there are a lot of stories out there that are basically, it's just, it's disgusting. It's just wrong. There have been petitions. I can't say that fucking word. <laughs> Petition. Partition. Petitions. Petitions. No, that was wrong. There have been petitions of people in the thousands. And this petition is to try and remove her from YouTube. To ban her from YouTube. Why? Why would you do that to someone? What the fuck? A lot of people are saying that her channel is portraying to a lot of young girls an unhealthy lifestyle and this is how you should look. Uh, from watching her videos, I, I don't think she's portraying that at all. Um, she clearly has a problem with her weight, yes, but she's not portraying that in her videos. She's not showing, she's not making a channel, how, how a lot of vegans make their channels around about being vegan and why you should be vegan. She is not saying why you should be this weight. And if she was doing that, then yes, that would be very wrong. You shouldn't sell that to uh, young girls because yes, that is very unhealthy to be this, this skinny. It is not healthy to be this skinny. But if you're going to do that to this girl, if you're going to basically, instead of try and support her with nice comments and advice, if you're not going to actually fucking help and you're just going to try and Swipe her off the internet out the way because of how she looks. Why don't you do that to me? I'm overweight. I am I am doing everything I can to lose weight and I've actually lost a bit of weight. Don't know if you can tell. Oh yeah, yeah boy. <laughs> but I am overweight. I am fat. I wouldn't say I'm morbidly obese. I'm I'm chubby. I'm I'm what what they would say cushion for the pushing. <laughs> That's fucking weird. <laughs> Why, why is there no petition to get me offline, huh? I'm sitting here being myself, making my videos, and I'm overweight. Am I, am I selling some sort of unhealthy lifestyle? Should I be pushed off the internet because I'm fat? No, no, I'm doing everything I can off camera to lose weight by exercising and eating right, and it's going well, slowly but surely. I'm sure, Eugenia, is doing what she can as well. Anorexia is not something that you can just scream at. You can't, it's like going up to a depressed person saying, just be happy, 
You can't. You can't fucking help it if you're depressed. It's not your fault. Depression doesn't give a fuck who you are. It doesn't care if you're rich, poor, fat, skinny, gorgeous. It doesn't matter who you are. It just attacks you and it's in your brain and you feel fucking miserable and there's not much you can do about it but fight back against it. And it's the same with weight issue problems. Yes, she has a weight issue problem. But you do, but you do not f try and force someone out of the public limelight because you feel it's wrong that she's that way. You don't know her. You don't know why she's like this. You don't know what she's suffering with. And if you're not going to be a decent person and help and actually try to support her, then fuck off. <laughs> Just fuck off. <laughs> you don't know this girl. I don't know this girl. I'm not going to judge her. I actually enjoyed her. I'm going to fucking subscribe. I'm going to subscribe. This is nothing to do with her weight issues. Yes, she's on camera. Yes, she has a weight issue, but... It's not, it's not, you don't help a person by bullying them and telling them that they're wrong the way they are and to get off the fucking internet. That's when people get worse, alright? But I, I'm sure she's not stupid. I'm sure she knows that she's suffered. I'm sure she's been to doctors in her life and stuff. I'm sure she knows what's going on more than any of us do. You just, you don't help a problem by screaming at it. I've seen so many comments, people shouting in the comments saying, EAT! Like, it doesn't work like that. It's it's a hard thing to go through. And if you're not going to support her, don't subscribe to her. And don't be fucking mean. Just be kind to the girl. That's all you can do. Just be kind to the girl. And hell, like I said, if she should be off the internet, so should I. I'm overweight. Like, love, caress my channel! And by the way, guys, new video has just dropped on Daz Black. The new video, okay? Go watch it. It's a vampire sketch. It's insane. I nearly died because I had a smoke machine going. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. <laughs>